The number one horror movie in IMAX history is Alien Romulus, and it's just crossing over in another area in a different milestone, and I'm so excited for it. According to Collider, Alien Romulus inches towards one last global box office milestone as it gets closer and closer to the end of its theatrical run, I will add. It's no secret that the majority of Disney's biggest hits this year are essentially inherited titles from 20th Century Studios. But while Deadpool and Wolverine was always expected to do well, the science fiction horror interquill, Alien Romulus, and the soft reboot of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes have emerged as pleasant surprises. Well, not necessarily to me, although I think Kingdom may have been something I didn't think would perform as well. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes concluded its global run with a hair under 400 million, which is good enough to be profitable and to push the idea of a second and third film. I've got another video on that right up there. And now you've got Alien Romulus, one of my favorite films of the year, which is saying something because there weren't too many. It's teetering on the edge of its own milestone with 103 million domestic, 238 million in overseas markets. The cumulative global haul stands at 341 million. All that remains to be seen is if it has enough gas in the tank to pass $350 million milestone before it taps out of the theaters. Even if it doesn't, according to Collider, there's no denying that Alien Romulus is a hit worth celebrating for Disney. Not only did it get greatly improved as far as performance of its predecessor, Alien Covenant, which I absolutely hated, it is now the second biggest hit in the long running franchise's history. And I will say it was a proper return to form. The film looked and felt like Alien. It basically did all the practical effects it possibly could with very little CGI use. And what it did with CGI was hit and miss because the presentation of the synthetic that, well, was resurrected as half the body probably wasn't the best look ever. However, the balance of the film when CGI was used was rather impressive, especially when you have a herd of facehuggers coming to chase you down. Fetty Alvarez did an absolutely amazing job as director and kind of a form of visionary with an honor and respect to the source material that isn't often seen these days in cinema. And of course, when it comes to horror, the best kind of effects are practical effects and that should be where all the focus is. I think the even bigger focus here is something Collider hits on right away. The Alien franchise is among the most resilient that Hollywood has ever produced, having survived not only critically panned flops, but also largely forgotten spinoffs. The series is on the verge of passing $2 billion in cumulative global box office revenue, although with $26 million separating it from that milestone, the chances of it achieving this goal look a little bit slim at this stage, and I'd have to agree because it seems to have lost steam in the box office. Produced for only $80 million, this film goes great guns. It does phenomenal performance on that meager budget. And it also seems to prove that horror can be very, very profitable once again, which some recent films kind of tried to disprove, which was bad. It also shed light on some actors and actresses that we hadn't heard a whole lot from, despite the fact of these folks being in several different productions. I will say that I appreciated every bit of those performances, and except for a few misses as far as story, I think this film was only separated by a few corrections that certainly could have got it even more money, and some dialogue that was a little bit divisive. But I ask you, what did you think of Alien Romulus? Did you think it would perform this well in the box office? Did you foresee that this would lead to even more projects and... Are you looking forward to the Noah Hawley television production, which is, well, I guess up and running right now? Let me know that and other of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Double check while you're down there that you're still subscribed. And if you've never subscribed, hit the little red button. It's absolutely free. It will help me grow. I'm on my way to 50K and I can do that with your help. So in advance, I'll say thank you for hitting the like button, sharing this around, and for taking care of yourself, taking care of others. And until next time,
See ya.